Good evening friends. Today we are going to see about the Digital Personal Data Protection Act 2023. This is very important act when we are processing the individual data for the purpose of engaging an employee and extending the benefit to the employee and also we are treating the employee to safeguard their privacy. That is the main purpose of this uh, Digital Personal Data Protection Act 2023. This act applicable towards all over India and territory of India and when it is using it outside also. And this does, act does not apply the data which is publicly available by an employee. Then that act, this act will not apply to them. And what are all the things which will attract collection, recording, organization, structuring, indexing, sharing, disclosure by transmission or eraser or destruction of data. All these processes the act will apply. And what is personal data under DPDP Act? Personal data refers to any data about individual who is identifiable by or in relation to such data. So the personal data collected and processed in digital format are collected in another format and later digitalized. So all these ways this act will apply. What is called the data principle? See here, now I am collecting the data from an individual. So I am the data principle for the benefit to extend to an employee or to any, any, any citizen of India. He is called the data principal. And if it is a child, the parent will be the data principal. And the guardian will be for any disabled persons. For them, they have the right to access, right to request correction or deletion, right to register the grievance with the data producery, right to nominate another individual to exercise the rights on this on their behalf. They are called the data principles. Data fiduciary means they are only the authorized agent to, for the benefit extension. We can say that the insurance companies, they are extending the benefit to an employee. They are the data fiduciary. And data processor means they may have some other person to process the data as a in a common pool, they are the data processors. So data principle in another side, data fiduciary is others, data processor is on the another area. So three of them has to have to work to maintain the privacy of the data of an employee. The consent is mainly required and freely given, specific, informed, and unconditional and unambiguous indication of the consent through the clear affirmative action that is important and the employer obligation is necessary as a data fiduciary the employer processing the data needed to ensure that data is complete accurate and consistent if it is useful to make the decision that affects the employee and disclose another fiduciary the act also requires employer to provide notices to employ accessible in english or the 22 other official languages. Retention of employee data till the employee is in employment or we are not hiring an employee, whatever the data collected from them, immediately that has to be erased, the digital data to be erased. That is the retention of employee data. If the purpose meet to them, then we have to erase the data. And in case of breach, we have to inform to an employee that his data has been breached. Otherwise, it will be the problem for the company. And the accuracy of data. The employer will need to correct any incomplete or misleading personal data for an employee because for the same. Employee nominations. There is a new aspect of an employee nominating an individual to exercise the rights under the act in case of death or incapacity. So the nomination is also available under this act. In case of grievances, the employer will need to appoint a data protection officer for the benefit of an employee that is important under this act. And this act will not apply to 
startups and develop and maintain the comprehensive data inventory to understand the implied data processes by the organization, location where it is stored, the type of processing performed, and other third parties it is shared with it. That is very much important. And the data minimization here. The employer must delete rejected dog applicant data as soon as, as it is reasonable if the applicant has not consented to, to be considered for further job opportunities and the COVID-19 related data. Example, vaccination and health status collected from the employees must be deleted once the pandemic management measure have been cheesed. The employee rights and enablement. Such a, such as the right to access the information about the personal data, right to correction and the erasure of personal data, that and our rights has been given to the data principle and the data fiduciary. So, security safeguards. Data breach may result in penalties up to 2,250 crores for breaching the data under this side. And the third party risk management, background checks, use behavior analytics, health insurance and the financial benefits. All these areas we used to collect the data. So we will give it to some other uh, agencies. So at that time that uh, third party risk management clear cut policies when we are sharing the data and the third party due diligence process, all these things are very much important under the data production act. Breach notification also important to the data production board. A board is established. Notices and policies. All these notices and the policies, how it has been data collected and retrieved and processed, all these things to be noticed properly. And the concern that the certain legitimate uses by an employer. To by the employee data, personal data that has been voluntarily provided to the organization and where the employee has now indicated that they don't consent to use their personal data. Mm. And if the organization intends to use employee data for any other purpose unrelated to employment, then free, specific, informed, unconditional, and unambiguous employee consent may be required. So this act is very important. And this has already been published in the parliament recently. So this act will apply to all the establishments. So we should take care when we collect the employee data, when we process the data and when we are registering it, like uh, employees provident fund and the employee state insurance act or Tamil Nadu welfare code or some other agencies when we are sharing it should we should maintain the confidential and we have to maintain the privacy and when the employee resigns or death, those times the employee data to be deleted and it has to be noticed to one employee and their nominees. That is very important. The, that is the purpose begin to begin for enacting this act. Thank you. I will meet you once again. If you like, please subscribe to Murali Hachar YouTube. Thank you.